Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. So the last place we left off, um, I believe, uh, I believe our character was watching some uh, silly things on the news, <laughs> it's like some kind of commercial for like a bachelor show. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Ludus is about to uh, watch a commercial, and we're going to see just how silly it is in this universe. But anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy my sandy for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up. All right, let's go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have an emotional and mentally scarring past that forced you to move out and find a new life? Well, kinda. I had a really awful job that treated me like shit, so... I see... And I can see from your physique that you look like the average twink on the less attractive side, and your style of clothing is very much like an overworked miner from the 1900s. Both of which are very promising. However, your face in general is ideally not what we're looking for. Oh, but I thought the job description you were looking for plain men. Well, yes, but if you can see in the fine print, plain here means supermodel or an extraterrestrial man. Really? You're looking for an alien dude? <sniffs> Alright then. Well, shit. <laughs> Do you at least have three or more suitors vying for your affection? No. I see. So you're having difficulty in relationships, as in you're having trouble trying to find the perfect man. No, it's, uh... Nobody likes me because I'm twink trash. Twink trash? Oh my god, what the fuck is this twink trash? Oh my god, never heard that before. Oh, okay. Um, do you ever want to change a, change a town or city, or take someone emotionally crippled under your care and have them marry you after you made them realize their worth? Uh, hell no, I could barely even change my underwear. Oh god, ew. Disgusting. So that would mean you would be incompetent at... Yeah. Perfect! <laughs> Wait, what? If you were to be put in a position where you have to decide on something, would you choose to be headstrong headstrong, and to be with the first hottest guy you see? Well, I guess if I were to decide on something, I think I would like to listen to other people's perspectives and other types of plans, especially on situations where the stakes are really high. I'm sorry, we're looking for a bit more of a stubborn and shallow character. I mean, you could still have romance and use your head. Mm, no, that's not how it works. Okay... Do you have a hobby that involves mind games, a deck of cards, or a sport you enjoy that involves balls? No. Um, unfortunately, that is the one answer we were hoping you'd actually say yes to. I'd appreci I appreciate you for coming in here, but I don't think that this would be a good match. We're looking for more candidates who are, how do you say it, not like other love interests. Um, okay, so what kind of male love interest would that be? I mean, look at me, for example. I'm just an ordinary guy with a chiseled six-pack and a handsome face who's torn between choosing my childhood best friend or the mysterious hot new guy that walked into my life yesterday. And on top of that, I have to lead a community of single, emotionally crippled hot men. And it's so stressful because they all, they're all in love with me. <laughs> right. So, unfortunately, this is going to be a pass for us. You're free to leave. Wait, I have something to say. Uh, what is it? Gay furry visual novels are basically made because of the lack of representation for gay media, right? And when we have a gay man as the main character, we have a lot of opportunities to show inspiring stories to these people and inspire them to find their own strength through difficult times. And I don't think being an ideal visual novel protagonist means swinging around a gun or showing how attractive you are to other men. I think to get the idea of an ideal visual novel protagonist, we need to have a variety of people with different backgrounds, different strengths, and even different weaknesses to show the spectrum of strong leading gay male characters. So, if we pigeonhole ourselves into the same type of that ideal male protagonist, then no matter how special he is, we oversimplify what it means to be truly unique as characters and as real people. <clears throat> you agree with me? Oh, no, I was just barely, I was just staring blankly into space and thinking about my tragic life. Um, listen, kid, we're just here to make money, okay? Now, get the fuck out. <laughs> oh my god, I loved how fucking meta that was. Oh, I loved it, it was incredible. Ah, nice work, guys, nice work. Great, great, great bit of fourth wall breaking humor there. Wow. Wow. 
Things are getting weird in the industry. <laughs> the show says one of the weirdest visual novels I've ever played. The show ends quickly, being followed by another advertisement. Ludus! He called behind the counter. Yeah? Come play cutthroat with us. Cutthroat? I held onto my neck and got up. This your boy. The dark red husky scans me down to my feet. Cut a good face on you. And those busts. Striking. Is he talking about my pecs? Boy, if you were an Iowa right now, they'd be milking you like a cattle. Ah! Though he doesn't seem to pose a threat. No, oh, he'll beat your ass in one swoop. He's a champion at cutting throat. Wait, what? And I'll be damned. Let me testify your claim. Actually, ah, oh, God, yeah, sorry, I remember. I was doing, like, a southern accent for him. Let's go, son. I haven't been doing any throwing action for a long time. Heck, I don't even know if I can still fight. Gramps, you're going unarmed? The only weapons I'll need are here. He pats his biceps. Shit, he can't possibly go and take him on without anything on hand. They both leave, they both leave and head their way to the, bill to the billiard room. Gramps, wait! Uh... I grabbed the closest thing to me on the counter, a small peeling knife, and hid it in my pocket. We went to the pool table and grabbed our own sticks. I grabbed the lion's arm. Hmm? What is it? You can do this, Gramps. I believe in you. What are you on about? I gave him the small peeling knife. What the? <laughs> is that the chalk? Mind lending it to me? Uh, no, it's my bottle opener. Bottle opener? What you gonna do, pop me open? <clears throat> Why'd you bring this here? Ah, God, I'm messing up my voices. Hold up. Why'd you bring this here? Weren't you gonna... Weren't we gonna cut his throat? Oh. <laughs> Goodness me, son, where'd you learn to think like this? He frowned. Uh, sorry. Huh, it's fine. I'll keep this in my pocket. Come on, let's get started. I'll take one to five. He grabs the tip of his stick with a small block of blue chalk. I'll have eleven to fifteen. Son, you'll take six to ten. Okay. How do you play, though? Husky prepares the balls of the triangle and volunteers for the first hit. Oh, that very distinctive sound. <laughs> Just pocket the balls that don't have your number on it. Sounds easy enough. It's not. I've played this. The game goes smoothly, going to Grandpa's turn, then to mine. I hit almost all my opponent's balls into their own pockets, missing a few here and there and ending my turn. The husky readies himself on the side, his butt facing upwards. Grandpa? Yes? You know what it's like to be married, right? Why'd you ask? How would you feel if someone you love just suddenly disappeared? Hmm. He just stared. I just saw some things back at home about Filio. He raises a brow and a piece is half a, a piece is a half smile. I guess I saw someone with a ring. He blinks. Hmm. Gramps. What? Huh. <sighs> it's Filio. I saw him in a picture with a ring on his finger. So you're asking me if he's married? W well, well, to answer simply, yes, he is. My lungs started to swell. To who? I don't know. A loud rip catches my ears. Fuck! Turn around. What happened? Don't fucking ask. We both complied. Hmm. Hmm? I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, his pants ripped. And don't you touch my... <laughs> and don't you touch my balls. Grandpa? What? Who is he married to? I'm telling you, I don't know. Why are you so pumped about, about it anyway? He shot up a sharp gaze. Hmm. Hmm. The husky came back with a different pair of pants. We finished the first game and declined their offer to play the next round. I'll go check up on Leo. I place the stick back on the rack. It falls on my head before I put it back in place. <laughs> He's right. Why do I want to know? It's not like it's my business anyway. I don't have the right to pry into his private life. I don't even care about him that much, too. Uh-huh. Sure, buddy. Ugh! What is even happening? I opened the door and took a peek. Leo? I scanned the room. He's not here, but the sheets on the bed are wrinkled. Hmm. Gra! 
My eyes spot the two large cats near the table with Leo sipping on a mug. They both seem happy in their conversation. They stop talking as Grandpa catches a glance of me walking up in their direction. Hey there. He tried to smile with the groggy look on his face. How are you feeling? I'm alright. Leo, please tell me. What is it? He tried hard to peel his eye he tried hard to peel his eyes open. I know my timing will be a bit off, but who is Philio married to? Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. They both fell silent. Oh god. You guys had lunch yet? I'm about to make something. Any requests? Anything will do. Are they seriously ignoring me? Um actually, do you have seaweed, Dad? I do have a roll in the kitchen. Fry me some, please. Oh, and steamed ones also. How about you, son? He turns to me. I want my answer! Don't feel like eating? I stood, agape in confusion. I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna go pee in the bathroom with my, uh, with my penis. <laughs> oh, God. Well? Well, what? Some things never really do change. In all honesty, I'm, I am still doubting. Philia might feel even worse if he knows. Just tell him not to say anything about it, then. He can't. How sure are you? Oh, I know. Hmm. Wait. Dad's ears perk up. I know, a weird bunch, I tell you. Well, do you approve of it? It would seem kind of, you know... I wouldn't mind, but it probably would not be healthy for Philio. I say to let them have a shot at it. It might even put your big wolf boy to the right track again. I still don't get. I still don't get you. I still don't get you can't get over. Okay, I still don't get you can't get over someone who's been gone for I don't know three years two. How about you then? Have you gotten over it? Of course I have. I won't be able to say the name if that happened to me. Hmm. Nothing's gonna happen if you keep moping around. You have to keep moving forward no matter what happens. Huh. Well, whatever you say, you're old enough for this. But if anything bad happens, expect me to step in. You don't need to. He keeps up with a grunt. He gets up with a grunt. Dad, don't cook seaweed. I know, you hate it. <laughs> Keep moving forward, no matter what happens. Damn, what am I even saying? I don't know, what are you saying? Oh, that's beautiful art. I had the cake packed. I had the cake packed in a box and with a ribbon around it, too, so it'll at least look cute when I give it to Granddad. I'm on a bus heading towards the far end of the city, towards the greener area full of trees. I've somehow made up my mind. At least maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to find some courage when I'm there. Remember the good old, I remember the good old when he and I were still toddlers. We loved to slide down on steep little hills riding Leo's carpet or a long sheet of cardboard. Sometimes he'd stare into the wide field of green at the back of our house before the sun came and pull me with him to watch the sunset. I check my phone, no messages or calls. Pretty sure they're having fun. I rested, my, I rested back on my seat, feeling the strip of cloth around my hand. It is tinted with the color of dried blood. Crap, I still can't piece it together. Philo's ring, marriage, what else? Does he have children too? And what it and what made it worse was Leo not answering my question. Never had I felt so stumped and misunderstood over something so trivial. Ludus? I hear a knock on the door. Ah! What is it? Are you alright in there? I'm good. I avoided his gaze and walked past him. The cushion sank on my weight while I slumped on the backrest. I closed my eyes. Hey! Hmm? <laughs> he sat next to me. Would you like something to drink? I just drank three glasses of chocolate. Huh. I'm sorry was what I wanted to say. He takes my free hand and guided it to a soft chest. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Leo? His ears perk up as I looked at him. Yes. Do you plan on staying single? What? Of course! Um, uh, how about Seth? He has some charm, but I still need to know him better. Charming? Just my cat senses. We cats can tell what's bad and what isn't. Can you tell if I'm bad, then? 
He stared. <laughs> like rotten eggs. I pushed him back. <laughs> ah, Leo, we love you. By the way, you didn't answer my question. Hmm? Question? Oh! Uh, let me ask you this first. What is he to you? What is he to me? Hmm. Well, he brought me to your house. He helped me back on my feet. He's the reason I'm with you right now. Basically, he helped me stay alive. Is that all? Yeah, well, why? I can't help but feel that you like him. W what? Where'd you get that? I just thought of it, I just thought of it, since you two always look so sweet together. I saw you give him a piggyback. Okay, okay, I do like him. Oh, <laughs> what about me, then? Who's going to love me? He chuckled. Well, we still love you. We always have. Why, aren't you satisfied with that? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I kiss his cheek and he nuzzles me back. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still not sure how to answer your question about Filio. Also, I do not know what you will get out of it. Neither do I! But maybe if I know more about him, I can give him what he needs. I could try, you know. He tells me a lot of things, but even he has, he has things he doesn't want to say. The lion hummed. Pa! Huh? <laughs> pa. That's what he said. Pa. Okay. <laughs> yep. You still have that old notebook? Notebook? Ho. Oh. But I thought... It's fine. Hmm. By the way, what did you and my dad do while I was knocked out? We were just catching up on things. We also played some cut... Uh, pool. We, we played pool with another friend. That sounds great. It's a little dusty, but it's in good condition. Thank you. Leo brushes off the face of the leathered book with his hand and, I went open it, blah, and opens it. Right. Here. Read this. What is this? Read it and find out. Pa! What? I'm right here. Let me help you cook that seaweed. I thought you didn't want seaweed. I didn't say that. Come on. <laughs> Where are we going? Just keep walking. I felt the cover. Deep brown made from hide and soon with a flaxen colored string. Its little decorative lock shone with a deep, with a deep gold. I opened it, and the smell was strong of wood, followed by the soft flutter of paper. I looked at the squiggled and uneven sizes of the letters. There's no mistaking what this is. There's no mistaking that this is his. What's this all about, anyway? I flipped it to the first page. I want to forget everything. I want to forget everything. It's not that hard, right? Why won't you let me? Are you okay with me being like this? Why are you doing this to me? Oh no, not this again. I flipped over the next few pages. Let's see. Darkness, pain, suffering, regret. Wow, so you had an emo phase. <laughs> I think most of us have. Ugh. Damn. I flipped through more pages of his teenage scribbles. Most of the pages are littered with doodles and of his head with the, f with the, with the final, with the finale fantasy hair wigs. Hmm. My eyes caught on a neat paragraph of text. Dear me. Who's reading this in the future? I hope you're eating well like me. I'm eating leftover spaghetti that Daddy made for us earlier this morning. I sat up. Funny how... Funny how Fern ate almost all of it and Leo got so mad when he, that he wasn't sharing. Dino's outside with Dad right now, fishing and drinking some ale they bought from the local brew. Fern is working outside, out outside. He said he's going to change how things go around here. Kind of stupid if you ask me. I told him that, but he wouldn't stop anyways. Whatever. Oh, shit, that's cool. Dear me, how are you? Hope you're happy today, unlike me. I'm feeling a bit sad. Fern's not here for the entire day, and I don't have anybody to play with. I asked Dad to play with me, but instead he taught me how to catch a fish with only my hands. I hate him. Joking, I love Leo. Well, I'm gonna go outside with Dino today. He said we'll be going on a field trip to the bar. What's a bar? Anyways, catch you later, me. <laughs> Dear Diary, it's been a long time since I've written to you. No, written on you. I guess I'm still writing for my future self, huh? That's cute. I'm already 15 now, and... Jesus Christ, that was you at 15? What the fuck, are you related to JoJo's family or something? Good Lord. I'm already 15 now, and boy, things aren't going well around here. The rumors about another war coming in the government here aren't doing any good. 
Anyways, how are you? Hope you're having fun, like I am. Me and Fern were hanging out by the ocean today, catching fish and collecting shells so Dad can make his barbecue. We both had so much fun. That's it for now, me. Have a great day. We had a great time by the lake today, Finn, Leo, Dino, and I. Fern. We celebrated with tons of food. We had grilled beef and seafood stew, beer, and Lo even bought me a cake. It was really sweet of him. But you know what was sweeter? After the others went on ahead, Fern kissed me. But I'm pretty sure by now, you and Fern are married. Today was the best day of my entire life. I think that's a good place to end it, right there. Alright guys, I'm going to end it right there. For now, it's been another episode of A Place to Call Home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. And leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. And until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!